very easily. Ha, <laughs> what stupid idiot walks into tar anyways? Stupid idiot. And we got another token. Why are we getting tokens? Tokens are much more rare than amulets are. Okay, I may as well explain what we want amulet for then. Every single spell has an inverse. Uh, drains inverse is sacrifice. Drain, you uh, use up uh, MP to get HP. Sacrifice, you lose HP to get MP. Uh, and more importantly, there is an opposite to detect creatures that I'm not going to spoil. You guys have to look that up on the internet yourselves very easily without any effort. Oh my god, it's it's the game breaker. This is the game breaking rune. Okay, we are going to kill this guy. Hooray, we have the game breaker rune on this floor. We could stay here indefinitely now. As I was saying, um, the uh, amulet would uh, give us reversal, uh, a source of reversal, combined a... Uh, a uh, potion of inverse with our uh, non-existent amulet and we would be able to uh, get our spells inverted there are also some uh, like if um, uh, the first one I discovered was dig if you have dig and you get an inverse it turns into create boulder that kind of thing it's another mix and match type thing majig uh, and amulets though they do break after a while uh, can be useful, especially the one that's reversal, because you just wear it for half a second to cast a spell, and then you immediately take it off. So it'll probably last for the entire game, and if it doesn't, you can just uh, use duplication to get more amulets, or use permanence to make the amulet last longer. Why are you doing that to me? I'm just trying to get... Oh, I can't even pick that potion up yet. Uh, I'll drop um, a potion of death, and then I'll pick up my potion of death again by accident. Okay, Mick... Uh... Mix a potion of death and a potion of life because we have lots of those potions of lives. Potion of inverse mix with that. That with the potion of change, from potion uh, permanence and energy, and stop pushing us. We are just trying to do alchemy here. Stop it! I'm not gonna bother with those guys because they're not a threat. They're just an annoyance. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bother with them because you know what? I have infinite. Uh, MP, as I have not uh, explained properly. Uh, that is what this rune is. Step on it, and you gain 1 MP. So, you don't have to worry about uh, fountains running out, because these things last forever, to my knowledge. So we can be reckless now with all of our MP, so long as we remember how to get there. And don't stray too far away from there. I also think that enemies spawn uh, over time, so that can be especially useful in uh, taking advantage of that and getting uh, lots of items from enemies. Let's uh, drop the... Uh, Squirrel of War. What does the Squirrel of War do? I don't even know what that does. Let's use it randomly. What do you want to target ourselves? Oh, what does Ward do? I guess it protects a certain area. Use Ward there. Hey, look at that. We have a Ward. What is a Ward? I don't know what a Ward is. Uh, let's attack it. I guess it's the wall? I don't know. Does it last for it? Whoa! You jerk. Last forever. Although we may as well learn a new edge also. Uh, we're going to en get enhanced power. That way we have 50 maximum MP. You can see where that's going, what I'm trying to do with that. Get really, really, really high uh, MP. We might actually want to go for some higher HP soon. It's easier to get MP higher than HP, though. Uh, even the edge uh, equivalent of gaining... Uh, or for that, gain that gives you uh, HP instead of MP is going to give you uh, considerably less than the MP uh, version. And let's get some more uh, MP out of that. And return to our travels with our character who now has ridiculous amounts of uh, magic at his disposal. Come you. I'll kill you and get your energy potion. Yes, I love energy potions. Let's drop the potion of uh, absorption. Get that. Mix energy. Come on, energy potion. And permanent potion. Use gain energy. It might not work. It did. Hooray. And uh, we can actually use inversion and absorption to get another uh, to get another energy potion if we wanted to, or something like that. But I'll hold off on that because absorption potions in and of themselves have a certain way of giving you more uh, maximum stuff in jigs. Hooray, a blue moat corpse. Let's run away from it because it's, it's useless to us. We are looking for energy thingamajigs, and those things are uh, not going to give it to us. In fact, they're only useful if we uh, waste energy thingamajig on it. Sadly, we can't uh, 
put the energy into a bottle and use that to get infinite amounts of that. Oh well, I suppose it'll do. Just to do things this way. Travel around randomly. We may as well actually uh, recast. Uh, whoops, recast detect creatures. And now we know where all the creatures in the universe are. Whoa, we are scared of that guy, but it's okay because he's dead now. And that guy's also probably weakened. Uh, travel around here, and let's return to here so that we can use uh, this attack to heal ourselves a bit after all that. And travel through Tar. It's nice, I love Tar. Halt, I am in Tar. Halt, I am in Tar. Ha, ah, I'm so funny and clever. I'm not, sorry. Uh, what is here? Uh,. This is actually a pretty big map, map if you look, if you can remember how small the other maps were from early, much earlier. So we may actually be able to get a lot of items from these various uh, enemies, especially it seems like those guys who I uh, wasn't fighting before, they're actually called Wind Walkers, the guys who uh, push you annoyingly, or help you technically in the mic. Whoa! The uh, energy rune flickers and dies out? I didn't know that those things died out. I thought they were an infinite source of energy. Well, now I'm disappointed. Oh well, I suppose you can't expect the game to have such a big exploit, now can you? Oh well, energy, I love energy. At the very least, if I get more energy stuff, I should be able to get more use out of every fountain. Uh, let's drop now the... Uh, hmm. Let's mix now a potion of death and life. In order to... Uh, do one of the less efficient ways of getting a, an inversion potion, doesn't matter because uh, we don't have much use for death anyways. And we sadly still don't have any sorts of permanence, so that's now what we're, that, that is now what we're looking for. Let's kill you. Let's be a little bit safer about how we deal with you. There you go. Let's kill these dire wolves. They're nothing to us, they're easy to kill. Dire wolf. Here, the dire wolf. More like the dying wolf. And kill you. Hooray. Skull marked shell. What can that be used for? Let's drop the potion of death. Pick that up. Mystic mirror. I know the guy's chasing me, but it's all good because that can give us temporary scene invisible. One reason why I'm not get, giving myself these permanent super awesome things like a resistance to something or scene invisible or become invisible is because they're all temporary. Even if you use permanence on them or after you use them, they're still temporary to my knowledge. I don't know any, I don't know of any way to make them permanent. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me. I'm certainly not an expert at this game. So, of course, I would get things wrong, like thinking that something would be a certain way when it's definitely not. There's another potion of inversion, but we can't pick it up. Uh, let's see if we can remember this area. That's the area where the very nice items are. Okay, I remember now. Come on, you are going to die. There you go, that's good. And let's kill you too. Kill you, kill you. Ah, uh, we're immobilized and cursed. You jerk. Keep coming towards us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you, are you going to do it? Oh, you're not going to do it. Okay. I'm just going to get myself surrounded then. If you're going to be that way, I'm just going to get myself surrounded. That's the gist of it. That's your punishment. Me, getting, me, me becoming surrounded. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. Who knows? Maybe I can corner you. And I kind of did. Whoa! Let's see if we can uh, defeat these guys a bit. Whoa! How do we get over there? To the point where we can get hit by multiple enemies at once. Uh, we're cursed now. Hooray. Are you going to come over here? No, you're not. Oh, wow. Well, we can drain you. And drain you some more. New push us right into the wall that's on our that's right to our back and these guys are probably wandering all the way around trying to find another way to us because they don't want to wait patiently it's one thing about the enemies in this game they are not patient they will walk all the way around just to find you here's some here's an army of enemies that's not good at all I'm actually need to use that energy potion 
Okay, I'm running. Well, I can't run because something decided to do cast uh, immobilize on me. Oh well. Let's run this way. Maybe we can find a new uh, thingamajig. Or we could just run into every single enemy. There's a the thingamajig I was looking for, but these guys are incredibly dangerous. Uh, these guys are the exploding jerks of this game. Uh, they will, uh, when they die, explode on you. Crab. We are in a tough situation. Whoa! <laughs> Barely survived that one. Well, yeah, those guys, the uh, bomby guys, when they die... What? How did we die? Oh, we were burning? Shoot the whoop. I didn't realize. And we were on fire. Well, that's been Mage Guild. I'm a little bit sad that I couldn't uh, use the Amulet of Awesomeness to make a really cool character. There's also a potion of change. I was going to give myself even more MP and even further specialize my character that, that uh, obviously lacks enough HP to survive in the real world. Uh, so I'm going to hope that this recording worked. But first, actually, before I do that, time to show off what I promised to show you the Mage Guild level editor. Okay, here we are, Mage Guild level editor. This is where you can make your own custom scenarios, as they say. Scenario. You can also make a mod. I don't know exactly how mods work. I guess it might just be that it makes random levels and you don't actually control the level. It's just like a regular game. We can make custom things. Uh, but I don't really know how it works, so I won't pretend that I do. Uh, the main thing when you're trying to make a level is the entity brush. The entity brush can be made to make various things, like where the player starts, or walls that will contain the player and prevent him from escaping, making the level impossible. Or you can be a little bit nice and actually have an exit with a door. Or you can have iron bars and have an enemy that you need to kill uh, here. The iron bars can be found uh, also in the tutorial, but I skipped that so you guys don't know about iron bars. You can shoot through iron bars. I don't think iron bars really exist in the normal game. They might, though, uh, because there are special levels. Uh, you can also have uh, special doors or something that are triggered so that when you kill the enemy... Uh, the door goes from locked to unlocked. They have to actually make special doors. We'll do that. Uh, one thing I, that is very important is when you're trying to make a door or something, don't build it right on top of a wall like that, or else there are two things on this uh, uh, that are going to be on the tile. Like right here, there are two things. There's, there's a wall and a door. And even if if if, or, ugh, if I test it, I'll see that I can't travel through because the wall is preventing me, even though there's a door also there. So you have to remember always to erase the wall when you're trying to make a door somewhere if you make the, the uh, wall first. So here we have double door for some reason. You can also, of course, make the various po fountains. You can make uh, tons of enemies, spoiler enemies even. It seems like the beginning ones are the easier type enemies that you find early on in the game, like Blink Bats and Delvers. And as you go further down, they become harder and more awesome and more spoilery. But uh, who cares about that? Because spoilers are fun. Uh, I assume this guy is one of the strongest guys possible. Please don't um, try to make levels that are just with this guy everywhere. Because these these kinds of levels, nobody will, are going to nobody's going to enjoy unless it has something clever, like you have to do something. He's a time type thing, or I don't know. But even then, I don't, I don't see how that can be so fun. Uh, items, items, items. You can make uh, you can bring any of these scrolls in. Uh, one thing about scrolls. Uh, there's a scroll for every single spell and for every single inverse spell. Never explain that entirely, but uh, you can put down various scrolls to make various puzzles. Like um, you can make a uh, something where you have to stand here and use the potion to push in order to uh, change this a little bit. Um, uh, uh, let's add some walls right here. And, uh...